All right, um, so what we have here is uh, we're, we're going to go over uh, the lab questions one by one. Um, we're going to get started here with number 40. Um, what I'll do in, in this section is just show you how to do it with the math. Uh, later on in a different uh, video, I can show you how to do uh, Class C uh, using a cheat sheet. Uh, but for now, I, I do think it is important uh, that we know how to derive um, the answers uh, using binary um, math. So let's uh, get started with this question. It's um, it's a host computer's assigned the IP address of 192.168.12.8 and a subnet mask of uh, 255.255.255.192. Uh, the host sends a packet to another host with an IP address of 192.168.12.65. Um, so is the destination IP in the same subnet as 192.168.12.8? Now this is a, a pretty common question that will come up uh, if you have um, uh, variable length subnet masking in your network. Um, so what we're going to do in this case is uh, translate each of the addresses and, uh, and uh, to determine what subnet mask they're actually in. Uh, so to do that um, we're going to go ahead and write out the um, the binary values 8, 16, 32, 64, 128 and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to write out 192, 168, 12.8 uh, but uh, it looks like we've masked out the first three octets so it doesn't look like we care much about the first three um, so we're only going to translate 8 into a binary value. Um, 8, of course, in binary is 1000 zero, 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 with a bunch of zeros in front. Um, then we're going to go ahead and mask it. Uh, again, these, these are all zeros. 192 is the only thing we're, we're going to translate. Um, now, uh, because it is a mask, we're going to see consecutive zeros coming from the left to the right. Uh, but in order to make 192, 128 plus 64 equals 192. So we have a 1, a 1, and the rest are zeros. And we're going to go ahead and, um, oh, I'm sorry, let me write that, the uh, representation of the decimal here. Um, so then we're going to go ahead and uh, apply the mask with an AND function. Uh, we're going to get a 0, a 0, a 0 here one here but no one here that still makes a zero 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 so what is the um, value here um, it looks like it's a zero so that's it's part of the zero subnet um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing with the other address here 192 168 12.65 um, so we're going to write out our, our bits again, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. And uh, we're going to write out the binary value of 65, and again with the same mask, 192. Um, so in order to write 65 in binary, we're going to put a 1 here on 64, add one more to make 65, fill in the rest with zeros. And uh, the 192, uh, again, we, we know from the previous area here is one, one, uh, zero, 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 zero. And we're gonna go ahead and do the AND function, which is a, a zero, 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 zero. Uh, looks like we have a true statement here, which is 1 and 0. Um, so what is this value here in binary? Uh, looks like that's 64. So um, that's part of the 64 subnet. So how do we answer the question? Um, the, the, it's, a, it's asking, uh, is the destination IP address in the same subnet as 12.8? Um, 8 is part of the 0 subnet. Uh, 65 is part of the 64 subnet. Um, so the answer is no, they are not in the same subnet. Uh, so in order for these two addresses to communicate to each other, given this mask, uh, they would need to go through a router.